Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator of the Battleship New Jersey Museum at Memorial. One of the easiest ways to sink a battleship. One of the most cost-effective ways to sink a battleship is with mines. Battleships have tremendous uh, compartmentalization below the waterline, but even if you don't sink it, just punch a hole in it, and the ship's still mission killed, has to go back to port for months of repairs. Maybe even better than outright sinking a battleship with mines is denying it access to your coast by laying huge minefields. That way, the ship will not even approach. I'm not familiar with any American battleship that was ever sunk by a mine. Um, they simply didn't go into harm's way if that was the case. They had to wait for mine sweepers. However, battleships are equipped with ways to deal with mines, believe it or not. You can have a 57,000 ton, uh, $100 million mine sweeper uh, turn your battleship into that if you're really inefficient. So there are a bunch of different types of mines, but these two here are examples of a sort that would be dropped and uh, would sit on the seafloor attached by a chain to their weighted bases and uh, then they would float just below the surface of the water so you can't see them. Uh, that way, unsuspecting ship runs over them. Uh, the method of dealing with these is super unsophisticated. This is a paravane. It's the way that uh, battleships could protect themselves from mines. Again, battleships make extremely expensive minesweepers, but they've got huge reserves of buoyancy, so why not give them all the equipment to deal with everything? A paravane is sort of similar to a torpedo. It's got something like a torpedo body, and it's got wings on it, and then there's a cable that attaches to the nose. The battleship is equipped with, uh, at the very, very bottom of the stem, the bow of the ship, there is a, basically a, a round pad eye, that's a big casting that is uh, down there. And there's a chain that runs from that up through the bull nose at the bow of the ship. You hook your paravane to that, and then you lower it into the water with the J davit that's here, and you tow it. And as you tow it, the paravane will go from being sunk in the water to uh, coming up, and you would probably have two of them, one on each side of the bow. And so now they're sweeping out attached by this cable. The idea is that the cable will catch the chain of a moored mine. It'll pull the mine to the actual paravane, and there's a device at the nose that cuts that chain and causes the mine to float to the surface. Well, then the crew of your battleship can see it and dispose of it. On Battleship New Jersey, that casting at the bow was a dissimilar metal from the rest of the shell plating around it, and it corroded pretty badly. So it was removed in 1982 when the ship was dry docked. On the other three Iowas, when they were reactivating them, they started to look at the global situation and where they planned on using battleships. And again, uh, because battleships were going to be used for shore bombardment, that was the whole reason for bringing them back to support amphibious operations uh, in, in littoral waters. They realized that the best aerial denial weapon available to many of the dictatorships and uh, hermit kingdoms that the battleship was going to be operating off of was mines. And so the other battleships retained their paravane connection points. I don't believe they ever actually used them, however. I don't know that they even had paravanes on board, even though the Navy said to retain those, those uh, points. During the Gulf War, Missouri and Wisconsin both encountered mines in the Persian Gulf, but they used underwater demolition divers, uh, UDT divers, to go out and remotely blow them up. So if you go on either of those museum ships, you'll see on their uh, ribbon board 
that they each have some mines with some X's out of them because the US Navy did use battleships for mine sweeping once. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about mines or anything like that, leave them in the uh, comment section down below. We'll get back to you as quick as we can. All of these objects are available at Battleship Cove for you to see for yourself. Be sure to check out the Battleship Massachusetts in Fall River, Massachusetts. If you live close and would like to volunteer, they have an extremely young and active volunteer force maintaining their fleet. If you don't live close and would like to support the various projects they're doing, we've left some links in the description to their YouTube page, their Facebook page, and their website if you would like to donate to help them. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, and also from viewers like you. Thank you for your support. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, because we try to put out new videos several times a week, and you want to be notified when that happens, so you can see cool stuff like us go into somebody else's battleship. Isn't it weird how much shorter this nose is? She's so stubby. Thanks for watching.